Okay. Hope everybody's having a good day. As you can tell, we're uh, doing doing some ice fishing. First private lake of the year. First time fishing at this particular private lake. Johnny Boy's nephew lives on here, so we got permission. Rumors of giant pike and giant crappies. So we got tip ups all around this little body of water for the pikes. And hopefully we'll, uh, we'll catch some crappies and finally, some, finally, hopefully some big crappies. Who knows, it's supposed to be perch and bluegills and whatnot in here too. So fingers crossed, we're gonna get into something. One. Oh! <laughs> you might be smaller than the Haley jig. Good. Well, did are... you see that hook set? I had my phone in my hand, so I just kept raising <laughs> it up. <laughs> good, good, good. Oh, we're marking fish. Moved out a little deeper. What? Talking to the camera. You're good. Marking fish. Yeah, right on the bottom. Fish, uh, a little bit nicer on this time. Oh, fish on, doubled up. Nice Keeper? Nah, no, not quite. Another bluegill. Okay, well, I apologize everybody if this is another bluegill video. <laughs> They're gonna stop watching eventually. I just want a big old just slob of a suspended mark to show up. Oh, wow, this is a big one, boys. You know they're big when you set the hook and you think you lose them. I think mine might be smaller, Alex. This one was just born yesterday. Cute little guy. There we go. Oh yeah. And a bluegill, not a crappie. <laughs> a big northern could eat like eight of these gills in one bite. Okay, well, seems to only be little fish here. Oh, we're gonna make a little move. Hopefully find some bigger fish. Hopefully find the crappies. Hopefully. All right, moved like 15 yards, still marking fish. Hopefully they're a little bit bigger. Oh, that was a big one. Oh, that was an even bigger one. Is it raining? Interesting. Got him that time, big one. I just want to see even just a little crappie. No, in here. John, you can tell me if they're in here. I just don't believe it until I actually see it. <laughs> oh, suspended mark, boys. Tight. Either way. Oh, I wish I would have put more wax worm on. Oh my god, those fish, oh, they're all coming up for it. Nice. Oh my god. I, I must be just out of oh yeah. Come on, big ones. Come on, big ones. Oh! Hoo hoo! Woo hoo! You're kidding me. I had him, dude. That was a. That was not a crappie. It was a big bluegill, though. Don't kid yourself. I don't believe that. Either. Oh, that's a crappie. Oh, that was not the one I was marking. I don't think anybody really ice fishes here. These fish are stupid. Fair. 
I can stop my bait like six, seven feet from the bottom and then watch him swim all the way up and eat it. Oh my gosh. Now I'm Captain Limprest over here. Oh, got this one. High caliber, high caliber fish here. Okay, made a move. Buddy was out here in the past, spotted a bunch of holes right here. So uh, he's gonna go through that much effort to spot that many holes that close together. I uh, hope he's catching more than two inch bluegills. Oh. Good hit? Yeah, actually bent around. Ooh, not a good hit. Not a little baby hit. It has to be some decent ones. Oh, there he is. Toad? I mean, don't do sure this one. No, but nicer. Yeah, that's probably about the size of one of the ones. Compared to that, I thought it was going to be an 18 incher compared to how those little ones feel. All right, Gunther could play that one. There's everywhere. They come racing on wherever you put it in the water. They come getting it. Come to get it. I didn't even realize. Like, look how small this one is. It's the size of a Haley Jim. <laughs> this one's not much bigger. That is the uh, that, that's, like, that's like that's like a two that incher. He's cute though. He's a cute little guy. Yeah, this is the lake to come to if you want to film an advertisement for a flasher. Yeah, go from a sunny day to a cloudy day. Oh, still not a coffee. I think you just did. It's so deceiving because there's so many little ones. They're packed so tight. They look like giant marks. Getting anything over there, Drew? What? All right, if the next one's not a big one, I'm moving again. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Good one? Oh, yeah. Is that a gill? Sunny. Big one. Well, maybe I'm not moving. Not really that big, but he's thick. Man. That's a good sunny. That's a good one, though. Colorful. Oh, could it be? Another keeper. How often does Drew fillet fish? Nah, this one's not. This one, no. This one, no. He is thick, though. Yeah, if you go more than 30 seconds without a bite, you probably don't have any worm. I think I do some. This could be a crappie. Nice kill. Sunny. sunny. Real nice sunny, dude. Oh my god, this thing is a football. This thing is like almost completely round. Drew. Go this way. He's not that long, but man, has he got a forehead on him? Oh my god. That was a nice fish. See, old Spud Boy had something figured out over here. Do you know the other guys spud it or just like walked around and fell through a bunch of times for fun? I don't really know. <laughs> oh, oh, drag peeler. Oh, get out of that deuce, sir. That's actually a gill, too. That's a tank. Give him like four. I don't want to keep too many like that. The crazy thing is, it's still not even prime panfish time. It's probably like three thirty. I cannot, I cannot set a hook right now. That's a nice one. Bobbing, that usually works. Not this time.
I got enough pieces of enough wax worms and I think it'll work. I'm about to drill a deucer hole though. This is kind of ticking me off. Especially, yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick. Especially if I actually get a really good one. I'm not, I mean, a foot or two off the bottom. The good suspended mark I was just talking about quickly broke into nine little marks as soon as I dropped down there. Do you like the fish from Finding Nemo? That swim in different shapes, you know what I'm talking about? Maybe if I jig it really frequently, I'll like keep away the little ones. So I just get them riled up and get a hundred more little ones over here. <laughs> that was, I think that was just like 18 of them hitting at one time. I didn't even try to set the hook on that little one. Come on now. Come on now. All right, well we figure that there's pretty much fish everywhere. Just picking through the small ones to find the big ones and picking through all of them to hopefully find a crappie. <laughs> I had to look closely at these little ones to make sure they're not crappies. If you loosen your drag and you set the hook real hard, they're all big ones. Oh yeah? Yep. Spikes would be the way to do it. Way tougher than the laxies. You can catch a hundred of these little ones on a single spike. Oh, I had one on that whole time. This is fun. This is fun. Little nicer one, little nicer one. Good gal, good gal. No? Yeah, how many do we have if Drew doesn't want ours? You don't want ours, really? That's Alright. How many do we got there? Two? Three. Three? That's a good one. That's more than enough right there. Yeah, and we got those trout. <laughs> oh, back to Dink City. Oh, Dinker with an attitude, though. Alright, well, put the shanty in a rain rain block mode just missed two good hits maybe we'll get a hook set on more than a two incher here for you guys then they definitely stole my legs for yeah i know that's wild no flags on any of our tip-ups interesting interesting definitely got my legs for Oh, still got enough. Trying a new tactic. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my jig up a little suspended. Hopefully uh the bigger fish will uh want it more. Oh yeah, here's here they come in force. Come on. Somebody eat. My sensitivity or gain or whatever they call it is down all the way. All fish down here, one all over me. Oh, unbelievable this lake. Now too bad all the bluegills aren't like that. Still looking for the crappies. Okay, finally a little. Uh, howdy, can't. Oh, oh, that's a good gill. Good dark gill. Wow, look at that one. Look at that specimen. Look at that. Already got enough for uh, me and Alex to eat. So we're gonna catch a release from here. And uh, keep this little private lake a secret little gem. Oh, not a good one. Not a good one. Johnny just caught like a nine inch crappie, so we know there are crappies in here. Hopefully we'll catch a couple more and hopefully we'll catch a slodge. Fish everywhere down there. They don't seem to be as aggressive as they were like half an hour ago, which doesn't really make any sense. It's like 4.15, 4.30 right now, getting closer to dark. Fish should be more active. 
Hopefully they're skittish because one of our tip ups is about to go up. Uh, no. Okay, just made another move. John's got a crappie. They just caught a crappie. I guess I'm the last one to catch a crappie. So hopefully I'll get one here. There's fish down there. There he is. Not a big one. And not a crappie. What do you got, Johnny? Big one? Hopefully I'll catch a crappie. If not, I'll just continue to try and make crappie videos that turn into bluegill videos. Sorry, guys. There's a better one, maybe. Hit it like a like a little bluegill. Oh, come on, come on, crappie. Oh my gosh. All right, well, we're just gonna cut the camera until we get a big one on, I guess. Finally, I, oh, I knew it was a little one. I didn't even hit the record button because I figured, you know, there's a little bluegill. All right, well, GoPro died just as I was talking about that crappie. But I caught a crappie. John caught a keeper. They got about a six incher down there. Hopefully they didn't keep it. There are indeed crappies in here. So uh, not the crappie video I'm trying to make for you guys yet. We'll see. Could have maybe not found another crappie. This little bluegill was uh, acting rather crappy like. I still got enough of wax worm on there. Oh my god, I probably caught over 100 fish. This video, if I was just recording every fish, would probably be an hour long by now. Oh my god, would you believe it? There's more fish down there. Oh, I don't want the little ones. I don't want this one. Get off there. Come on, get off there. Oh, he's on there. Oh, he came off. I let shake off. I just got all my wax one. Oh no. His other little buddy came and got it. All right, well, go back to cutting until we get a big fish. Okay, decided to wrap her up. Still could fish for a little while, but this is more of a reconnaissance mission than anything. My nose is dripping like a faucet. Sorry about that, everybody. But we got some tip ups to pull. Trying to do that before it gets dark, dark. Maybe we got a hitchhiker. No flags. There's supposedly giant pike in here, but uh, we didn't get them. At least we know there's crappies in here. And as you can tell, this lake's not very big. Goes back there a little bit, back there a little bit. But all in all, if we're going to figure out crappies, I think this is going to be the lake. So hopefully you'll actually see a straight crappie video at some point this winter.